Hello my beautiful friends and welcome to the Vibe Tribe. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make an alcohol-free tincture. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a crock pot with a low setting. You are going to need 16 grams of decarbed marijuana, a mason jar, and two cups of glycerin. Now my friends, this is vegetable grade glycerin. It is food safe as well. And that just means that it's passed all the regulations to be safe for human consumption. Now you can even use this without adding cannabis. It's great for your skin. It's great for dermatitis. It's great for eczema. And that's just a couple of things that it's good for. But after it's infused with the marijuana, you can use it as a sexual lubricant. Um, it is not going to make you high from using it as a lubricant, of course, but it is an edible, my friends. So keep that in mind. Okay. So this is the first thing you are going to do. You're going to grab your mason jar and you are going to add your two cups of glycerin. This is very thick consistency. It's almost like a corn syrup and it is supposed to be as sweet as nectar. I don't know about that though. Like it is sweet. It's, you know, it's not bad in your mouth when you taste it. Um, you're just kind of like, eh, not bad. You know, it's one of those things. It's definitely better than the alcohol tincture though in your mouth. Cause that does sting a little bit, especially if you're using it sublingually. And my friends, I will put a link in the description for all this stuff, even my uh, little medicine bottle here, my dropper bottles. These are great for any kind of tincture. Um, this is a little bit more syrupy, like I said, so it's a little bit harder to use this. But for the alcohol tincture, this works fantastic. And then we are going to add our 16 grams of decarbed marijuana. Look how it just sits at the top there. You're going to have to push it down, my friends. And just break it up a little bit more than when you decarb it. All the crystals and stuff are going to go right into the glycerin, so it's not a big deal. I'll just push that down there without getting any on your fingers. But you can just lick them clean, so no worries. Put your lid on, and it will just kind of sit like there. Isn't that neat? Look how cool that looks. And then we are going to soak the marijuana. Shake it. Get that all wet in there. I'm just going to shake this for a little while. Make sure you get all your cannabis drenched in the glycerin, please. It's that simple, guys. Like, really, this is so simple to make. Okay, then after you've done this, it's going to look like this very thick. Okay. And then we are going to put it in our crock pot. Now you really have to play with your crock pot, my friends, because everybody's is different. Like mine's a little bit older. So I actually have to really watch the temperature. Um, I check probably every three to four hours, but I will actually just let my lid come off just a little bit because I want this to be between 170 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, if it goes a little bit over, don't panic. It's going to be okay. And mine's got to 185 and it turned out fantastic. So, um, you know, don't worry. We're just trying to set a target zone for where we'd like our marijuana to be happy. Um, you're going to use an old rag, a cloth, something just to protect your mason jar. I'm going to put that right in the water. And we are going to put our mason jar right on top, just like that. And you are going to want to have it half full with water. So I'm going to put a little bit more water in there. there go. And a little bit extra doesn't hurt. We're going to put our lid on our crock pot. And this is actually going to sit for between 18 to 24 hours. I'm going to come back in a couple hours. I'm going to show you what the temperature is and I'm going to show you guys what it's looking like. It is very easy. My only problem with this is, um, you know, this is like my baby, right? I, I didn't sleep when my kids were babies either. So I, I don't really sleep when I'm making this glycerin tincture um, because I do worry about my cannabis. You know, I don't want it to get too warm. So, you know, plan an all nighter or watch some movies or if you're good at waking up every three to four hours, then that's fantastic. But I will let this brew for a couple hours, guys, and then we'll come back and we'll show you what's happening. Hi 
Hi my friends, so we are back. Smoke two joints and a gummy bear later. We are sitting at 176 degrees Fahrenheit approximately. That's where our tincture is happy. Um, so if you're gonna be using this for any chronic pain conditions, anxiety, um, you know, anything that's, you have to be able to function still, like if you're going to work or something, I suggest using um, a CBD dominant strand for this. So then you don't have the psychoactive effects of the THC. A uh, really good and uh, popular one is ACDC. Uh, I've been reading a lot about it. A lot of people like to use it for their everyday lives. Um, so we are gonna let this sit for a little bit longer, a couple more hours, but at this point we do have to shake it, my friends. So let's do that and then we will let it sit again. So as you can see here, it is changing to a nice shade of amber. So you're just gonna move that stuff around in there. And then put it back in the bath. And as you can see, my lid was off a little bit. So just keep an eye on it. This is an old one. If you have a newer crock pot, maybe a digital one, it'd be a lot better. This one is probably about 10 years old. I'm stubborn. I don't really feel like getting a new one. So this works fine. That's why I make big batches. So we'll be back in a little bit, my friends, and we'll check on our tincture before bed. Okay, we are back my friends and I'm gonna be playing video games all night but before I do that um, you're gonna to want to refill your water to make sure that it's not gonna be emptied if you have a better crock pot than mine you can leave it for five six hours if you're comfortable with that um, just make sure you have a better crock pot that the uh, temperature is more regulated than mine mine kind of goes everywhere it's not very good I've said that before so let's add a little bit of water give our tincture a shake and then we can leave it for a little while And you can see the color is even getting darker. It is hot, my friends, so please be careful. Just like that. Okay. And then we're just gonna fill this a little bit because the water didn't go down very much, but just a little bit extra. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we are gonna leave this a couple more hours. I'm gonna end up staying up the whole night. I'm gonna get super baked and play stranded. So that's my plans for the night. So we will be back guys in the morning and we will check on our tincture then. Okay, my friends, time is up and our tincture is finally complete. So uh, I've let this cool down for about 15 minutes. Uh, I just wanted to get right into the lesson for you guys. So let's take off our lid. This is our tincture. It's really darkened up. This is 24 hours later, my friends. Okay, and then you were gonna let it cool down though. Let it cool down 15, 20 minutes before you run it through the cheesecloth. You're gonna take the lid off. And I'm actually using um, a salad dressing jar. I find it makes it a lot easier to get them into these jars. Okay, so then after you have strained all of your glycerin tincture, you're going to run it through the cheesecloth, put it up like this and just squeeze it out. You're gonna get some on your fingers, but either lick them off or you can use a glove too. This is just for personal stuff. So like, I don't have to be overly, you know, dramatic with, with everything. I wash my hands before I start. I always do, you know, it's just for me. Okay, so then you're gonna take out this little guy Take your little dropper bottles and you're going to want to get the uh, tinted ones. It just protects um, your cannabis tincture from degrading. And you can put this in the fridge for up to a year. And you're going to want to make sure you keep it in the fridge. It tastes better when it's cold. So 
So you can see my friends, you are gonna get quite a bit out of this. That's why I say I don't really mind that my crock pot doesn't work that great because this is gonna last me at least a year. Um, but you know, the warm button used to work on this once upon a time and that actually was the perfect temperature. It just doesn't work anymore. So if you do have a warm option on your crock pot, try that out. Um, and then uh, your tincture's done. It, it really is that easy. I'm gonna show you guys how to use it though, sublingually, okay? Um, I'm just gonna wipe my hands off really quick though, my friends. Okay, so you're gonna open up your dropper bottle and this is what I mean by it's very syrupy and thick. If this was an alcohol tincture, it would have no problem going into the jar when I do this, but it's because it's so thick. You are going to look into a mirror, okay? Especially if you are new to using this, um, just so you can see uh, just so you can see how um, you are putting the drops underneath your tongue so you're not putting too much, you're going to start about with two to three drops at first, okay? So just take it, put your tongue at the top of your mouth. Put your tongue down. Okay, and then hold it for 30 seconds before you swallow. And that is how to get this directly into your bloodstream. I will feel the effects from this within 30 seconds. And you know, sometimes it takes a little bit longer than that for some people, but I do feel it pretty much immediately, which is pretty impressive. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can use this for anything. It's so handy. It's tasty, tastes good in your mouth, especially when it's cold. Um, if you guys have any comments, uh, you need help with anything, just run them by me. I have no problem helping my friends at the Vibe Tribe. So show me some love by hitting that like button, commenting, and subscribing to the Vibe Tribe. Peace, my friends.